I'm Nicholas Kristof. My job as a journalist brought me to Gaza to see how last year's war between Hamas and Israel is affecting ordinary people. Right there, that's your dad, I'm here. But my other job is as a dad. So I've got to say, I'm heartbroken by what has happened to this family. Aya Abed lives in Gaza with her son. Her husband, Wissam, lives a few hours away in the West Bank. But Israel forbids most Gazans from leaving Gaza. So Wissam has never met his son. So what is it like to raise a child who has never seen his father? Hi, Wissam. <laughs> well, first, you have a beautiful baby boy. I've been in Gaza just hours, and I have seen your son, and you can't. I came here to see how Gazans are getting by after a war that killed 2,000 people. According to the United Nations, 70% of the dead were civilians. In the city center, Gazans seem as resilient as ever. Last summer, Israel bombed this beach, killing four children. Now, the only worry is a rainstorm and near freezing temperatures. Not enough to deter these guys. At night, the loudest sounds are no longer from shelling, but from wedding caravans. Though freedom of movement is restricted, freedom to marry isn't. But just a few minutes away is a wretched reality. Mohammed is homeless and jobless. And for the first time in his life, eight-year-old Rabah doesn't even have shoes for daily life. Gaza is a museum of humanitarian catastrophe. A museum because everything is frozen. Aid groups don't know of a single home that has been rebuilt. Why rebuild, people say, if another war is inevitable? Others don't have the money. Unemployment here is 40 percent. That leads to my biggest worry, economic warfare. Most Gazans can't come and go freely, and neither can their goods. You know, you can't just sort of snap your fingers and say, okay, now your economy is restarted. It takes time. Siri Bashi and, and is an Israeli expert on Gaza. And Gaza's GDP per capita is lower than it was in 1994. Uh, I mean, it's, you know, most, most people develop. The Palestinian economy has been de-developed. Mohammed Telbani owns a famous cookie and ice cream company, and along with executive manager Manal Hassan, he's trying to save the business from this economic warfare. Telbani is a pragmatist. As a Hebrew speaker with deep ties to Israel, he's part of an independent business community that could be a counterforce to Hamas. But Israel bombed his factory. I don't know why this factory was bombed. And let's be clear, Israel has legitimate security concerns. Tunnel intrusions are real. Hamas has fired rockets from civilian locations. But security concerns simply aren't a valid reason to keep these machines idle. This machine needs parts that aren't allowed to be imported. And this is not working for the last three months, waiting for this small electrical card. And this one needs a European technician who hasn't been allowed to enter either. When I last met Mr. Talbani in 2010, people like him seemed the best hope for moderation in Gaza. But he since laid off 150 workers and become much more bitter.
My overall impression is that the bombings definitely turned some Gazans against Hamas and against rocket launches. With a badly damaged home and an injured husband, Sumud Abu Ajwa has every reason to be angry. Do you want Israeli mothers to feel the same pain that you are suffering? But the war also hardened some hearts against Israel. This 14-year-old's best friend was killed while grocery shopping. That doesn't mean he personally wants to fight, but some do. 14-year-old Ahmed Jundia also lost a friend, and with his home in shambles from the war, he wants vengeance. Ahmed, war has not brought much happiness. You look around, doesn't war feel like kind of a failed strategy? Here's my take. Israel and Hamas have both failed Gazans, creating cycles of war after war after war. Gaza has now hit a new low, and the way to break the cycle is for Israel to ease the embargo and let everyday Palestinians be people. That means letting them reunite with families, build businesses, and embrace simple pleasures.